Hey guys, what's up? Eli here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually go out there and start using ClickFunnels to scale products in your general store. I know a lot of you guys have a general store, so I really want to show you actually how you can go about using ClickFunnels, which is a tool that I use to scale products to increase your conversion rates and your profits. So if you're not sure exactly what ClickFunnels is, it's a really powerful sales process that you can actually use uh, compared to your basic Shopify uh, checkout process, for example. So generally speaking, when somebody comes into your world, they're gonna come in, they're gonna come in from an ad, then they're gonna land on maybe your sales page, then they're gonna to add to cart, then they're gonna initiate checkout, and after they've done that, then they're gonna go through, generally on Shopify, it's a three-page uh, three checkout process. It's a very long checkout process. And with ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels is a much stronger sales process because one, it's a lot shorter, and two, uh, you collect cash quicker and three, you can actually collect more cash from each customer that comes into your world. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to talk a little bit about general stores. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons of general stores and then maybe the pros and cons of one product stores. So general stores, one of the big issues a lot of people have with general stores is that they just don't convert as well as niche stores or one product stores. Why? Because they sell everything. These stores cater to the masses. You can really have every niche under the sun inside of a general store. As a result, it has less brand authority, less trust, and uh, the, the customer or potential customer is less likely to buy because you're competing now with Walmart, you're competing with eBay, you're competing with Amazon. You have no authority in that space. Because you have no authority, you're on the exact same playing field, probably less of a playing field than eBay or Amazon. Now, a lot of people like one product stores or general or niche stores, sorry, because they have that uh, authority factor. They plant their flag either as the owner of a product or as an authority industry leader within that niche or market. Okay, that's why general store, uh, niche stores and one product stores tend to have that much higher conversion rate because they have that significantly higher trust factor. Okay, they're an authority and they have a trust factor. But I'm gonna show you in this video how you can actually use something like ClickFunnels to get the best of both worlds. One of the biggest positives with a general store and why I really like it for beginners is because it doesn't constrain you or restrain you to any niche. Okay, you're actually able to go out there and test any product that you want whenever you want. Not like a niche store or a one product store where you really have those shackles on, you're not actually able to really test outside of that space that you've built. So with a general store, it's fantastic because you can, you can test that wide variety of products but you don't have the good conversion rate. So when you start using something like ClickFunnels, which is a sales built, which is, which is a sales page builder, which is a page builder, you can actually start increasing your conversion rate because you can build pages that are just specifically focused on one product and then you can start getting those conversion rates right up there with general, with one product stores and with niche stores. So I'm gonna show you now what kind of happens when somebody goes to your general store on Shopify? So we have a little man, here's our traffic, right? Doesn't really matter where it comes from. I know a lot of you guys are running Facebook ads. It's, you know, the, it's the method everyone's using right now is Facebook. So we're getting, we're paying for clicks. We're paying for this customer to come to our product page. So this is our product page. On this product page, we're positioning this product but the problem with the general store is at the top of this page, there are links and links and links, and probably down the bottom, you might have some related products which aren't even related because it's a general store. It has everything, okay? One of the biggest principles to direct response marketing is marketing that where we're trying to get the customer to take an action is that a confused mind always says no, and that's another reason why general stores tend to convert less because customers come to your store, they get confused because they see so many different links, so many different niches, uh, they feel a bit overwhelmed and they will leave, okay? They get confused, it's not very congruent, confused mind always says no. 
But there's always going to be, be a percentage that does say yes, and you can still definitely make general stores like this work, they just don't work as well. So you come to your product page, then people are going to come to your cart page, this is going to be your cart page. Then they're going to go through your cart page, there's always going to be a drop off as this uh, sales process progresses. Then they are going to initiate the checkout. I'm going to do this smaller because I'm not going to be able to fit in as many uh, checkout pages. Now on Shopify, it's a terrible sales process, okay? Because people will come, you're probably sending people from Facebook to an ad to your product page. Then from there, they're, initi they're adding to cart. So this is adding to cart. Then they're initiating checkout. Now this is initiating checkout one, initiating checkout two, initiating checkout three. And you have to get them all the way to the third checkout page on Shopify before they actually give you money. And then from there, there is the uh, thank you page, okay? That's a very long sales process when you're running a general store. And the big problem is a lot of people will drop off here because they get confused due to the lack of congruency, okay? That's the biggest problem. The second biggest problem is there's one, two, three, four, five steps in this sales process before the customer actually gives you money and your bank account starts to grow, okay? Until they reach the third page on a Shopify checkout process, your bank balance stays the same. It doesn't change. That's the problem. Every time we put another step in, there is always going to be a drop off in conversion. Okay, so not only are we going to struggle with the lack of congruency, we're also struggling with the extended sales process, which is causing a lower conversion rate. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can actually use ClickFunnels to actually do this better. So what I do, and what I recommend you doing, is on my, I will run this process when I'm initially testing a product. I love general stores because you're able to test a variety of different niches and verticals. Okay, you can test whatever you want, whenever you want. That's fantastic. But, like I said, I don't like the congruency factor. I don't particularly like the extended process. And another issue with Shopify is once they hit this page, you stop selling. Once they hit the thank you page, you stop selling and you've Whatever the customers pay for, you can't really charge them anything. You can't offer them any more products um, inside of this sales process. Okay, so it's actually a relatively weak sales process, uh, but I do use it to actually get proof of concept, which means I will build this because it's actually a fairly quick process to build. And then you can work out when you're, when you're testing a product, you can launch it and initially start sending people here. Okay, initially start sending people here. Build out a quick product page, clean and easy, make sure you can start actually getting sales, getting some movement and getting some momentum. Once you start seeing traffic coming into your world, once you start seeing that product is converting, what I recommend doing and what I do, is I might draw this in a different color, is I will now build a ClickFunnels page and I will start sending traffic I will not turn off my campaigns that are sending people to my Shopify store if they're profitable, but I will start now building out a ClickFunnels sales page. Now this is where the real money comes in, okay? Because what is great with the sales pages is now you're sending somebody to a page that is only focused on this one product. The people are solely focused on this one product. There's no links. There's no links everywhere. There's no headings. There's no buttons to confuse and lose the customer. You're sending people now to a sales page, which is solely about converting these people into buyers. It's about handling some of the common objections they might have, but it is all focused on this one product, nothing else. Because this person, they've raised their hand to show interest in this product, so we're only going to show them this product. It increases congruency and it increases trust, okay? Because they don't see all of the other products and niches uh, and verticals that we're actually selling in, okay? They only see this. Now, after they click from the sales page over, there is a one page checkout, which means we are getting our cash. We are collecting the customer's cash in two steps 
compared to five steps, which is over here. Okay, so it's more congruent and we're collecting cash faster. Now, what we have after the order page. This is the order page. We build their card immediately. What's fantastic about ClickFunnels is one of the most powerful reasons a lot of people like using it is not only it's a congruent, it's a congruent sales process and it's a lot shorter, uh, it's actually able to offer one-click upsells. So after the sales page, we can offer them OTO1 and we can offer them OTO2. I usually recommend maybe only doing two upsells. And this can be, I usually recommend for the first product, offering them more of the same thing. So whatever, the, whatever it is you're selling on the front end, just sell it to them again at a discount on the first one-time one offer. And this is a very limited one-time offer. This is not shown to any other customers except people who have actually became buyers on the front end. This could be like, hey, wait, I saw that you purchased whatever this is, could be a pair of shoes. I, I saw that you purchased this pair of shoes. How would you like another pair of shoes and get 20% off? Okay, you'd be actually surprised how many people buy uh, the more of the same. I've tried it, it works, okay? Then the second one-time only offer is offering them something different, a little bit more congruent, but it still makes sense depending on, so this, this is shoes, you might sell them socks, okay? For example, I'm not saying you should, you should sell shoes and socks, but it's a congruent, it's a congruent product and it could be the next logical thing that they need if they were to buy shoes, okay? Then after that, you send them to the thank you page. And on the thank you page, you can actually then, from there, push them into different products. So different products, you can push them into, you can become an Amazon affiliate. I'll put an A for Amazon. Uh, yeah, so you can push them, or you can actually push them back to your general store. So products by products, I mean other funnels. So you can push them into other funnels. That's a bit of an advanced topic called funnel stacking. You can push them into other Amazon related products, or you can just push them into your general store and say, hey, uh, you know, come have a look at our general store. Now you've actually paid for the cost of acquisition on this customer, you can send them back to your general store. Okay, but understand this is what I do to get the best of both worlds when it comes to running a general store. We'll recap. So the problem with general stores is the conversion rate is lower because there's a lack of congruency, a lack of trust, and you're not an authority in the space. Okay, that's the big conversion killer straight away that stops people getting sales. The second big conversion killer is the extended checkout process. You have to go through one, two, three, four, five steps to actually get that customer to give you money. And in this process, the, there's actually not that many ways to further monetize this customer as well. And then on the thank you page, uh, it's what I call like, it's a buyer in heat. It's like a car that has momentum and they're hitting a brick wall because you're not actually able to do much with them on Shopify after they've made that sale. But once I, re so I'll push people into this process first because it's faster to build than a sales funnel. But once you realize that, hey, you're getting some sales, you're getting some momentum, what I'll do then is I will start building a funnel inside of ClickFunnels. And the, the, the pro with ClickFunnels is that it is a much stronger sales process. You come to a sales page in two pages, not five, in two pages, you're collecting the cash and getting paid. So you're getting paid sooner. And after the process, there's no thank you page straight away. After they've actually made their initial sale, you're giving them two one-time only offers, making these offers super irresistible, super attractive. And then after that, you can push them to a thank you page where you can continue to further monetize this audience by pushing them into either more funnels to affiliate related products or back to your general store. Because you've paid for this customer, you've paid for that cost of acquisition, they can then do whatever, you can do whatever you want with them now. This is a much more effective way to get paid faster and to get paid more money, okay? To make more profit. So you're gonna make more sales, make more profit with this method. But I always get proof of concept first 
going through Shopify, once I have a solid proof of concept, which means I'm starting to get frequent sales, then it is worth my time to build a funnel straight away. Okay, once I realize I've got something here, I'll build a funnel. Don't build a funnel straight away because especially if you're just starting out, it can be a little bit of work. It is a time commitment, okay? But it is definitely worth doing to scale products. And then once people come through here, all of the information is gonna be sent back to Shopify. So you can link your funnel up to Shopify and then it's, it's, it's a fantastic system, okay? So this is how we are taking the best of both worlds. We're still able to have that general store running in the background, but we are able to push traffic now into a sales process that is a lot more specific, congruent, and optimized much more, uh, and much more greatly to actually get more money out of each customer that comes into our world. Okay, because not only do you get money on the sales page, you get money here and here. And you can actually have more than two one-time offers, but I recommend only having two. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you wanna learn more about how to use funnels to grow and scale your products and your e-commerce business, I recommend checking out the free training that I've just launched. It's ecommercefunnelsecrets.com. Uh, the link for that will be in the description underneath this video. It's a completely free training and it really goes into depth, a lot more great detail than what I actually have time to do here on how you can really use funnels to scale your e-commerce business. So if you haven't, please make sure you go check out the free training. I've done it to help you guys and show you a much stronger sales process that you can use because if you're just running through Shopify, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. You want to be building funnels to start pushing those people through and then having your Shopify store on the back end because Shopify is a great place for order management, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you got a lot of value out of it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.